Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Trick Tutorial and in today's video, I will show you how to put the 3D text effect on CapCut. This is a step-by-step -step guide so you should be able to follow easily. Now first things first, you want to open up any browser that you have installed to your device and inside you can just go ahead and search for Panzoid. It is P-A-N-Z-O-I-D. Inside you want to open up the website panzoid.com and you want to click on Clip Maker. Inside Clip Maker, you want to scroll down until you see the More Creations button. So it's this one right here. You want to scroll all the way down until this button show up. And now we will be taken to this page right here. Inside, you want to go ahead and click on the search icon. And you want to search for Vapex. V-A-P-E-X. Hit enter. And now, you want to click on this specific video right here by Vapex. So just go ahead and open it up. And you want to click on the channel logo and it will take us to the maker of that video right here. Inside you want to click on creations. Scroll down until you see this once again specific video. It is this one with the red highlight at the stroke of the video. You want to open it up. Click on open in clip maker. And now we will be taken to this section right here where we can go ahead and edit the text inside clip maker. You want to click on the hamburger icon or the three lines above the folder icon right here and inside you want to scroll down or you want to click on objects. Inside objects we have a lot of things right here that we can go ahead and edit but we are specifically looking for the text that we can go ahead and change in order to edit it in our own preferences. So inside for example we have the V right here, we also have the group A, group B, group E and group X which stands for Bapex. We are going to edit the text inside the video right here. So for example, if you want to edit the first text, you want to go ahead and click on the text right here. And you could just go ahead and change it right away. In this tutorial, we are going to make a text inside this video right here. So I'll just go ahead and change it to T. For the second one, we are going to change it to E. For the third one, we are going to change it to X. And lastly, we are going to change the last letter to T. And since we don't have any more letters inside our text right here, I will just delete the group X since we don't need a fourth letter on our example. So once you have edited your text, we are now going to edit it inside the clip maker right here. For example, you have things like your font, the size of the text, you have details, bevels, and more. So for example, if you want to edit the font right here, you can just go ahead and click on it and choose to any one of their presets that they have. But in this video, we are going to change the color. So you want to scroll all the way down until you see the red color. And inside right here, as you can go ahead and see, we have a red highlight into our text. And if you want to change that, you can just go ahead and open up the so solid colors and you can change this the way you want to. In our case, we are going to change it into color white. So I'll just go ahead and click on it. And right after, we are now ready to do the same thing for the rest of our text. So now let's go ahead and proceed to the second letter, which is letter E. You want to click on it, scroll all the way down until you see the solid color. And inside, you could just go ahead and select the color that you prefer. In our case, we are going to be selecting color white. And we basically, we just have to repeat every step that we've made in here. So now let's proceed to the second text, which is letter X. Scroll all the way down and select the color. And lastly, we have letter T. Click on it, scroll all the way down and select your color. So once again, before downloading the text effect right here, you can just go ahead and edit this the way you want to. Once again, go ahead and click on your character. And inside we have a bunch of designs that we can go ahead and change. We have vessels, our font, our size, details, and more. But if you're done, you can just go ahead and proceed by clicking on the download button at the bottom of your screen right here. Go ahead and select good quality. And right after, we can now go ahead and click on start video render. So just wait for this to finish. As you can go ahead and see, this goes really fast. And now we are ready to proceed to head into our CapCut. Just go ahead and click on download your video. And now 
that specific video that we have edited inside Fanzoid will be now downloaded into our device. And inside our CapCut application, you could just go ahead and open up one of your projects. In my case, I'll be opening this simple project right here. But nonetheless, you can go ahead and import this edit into your anime edits or into any edits in general. Inside, you want to click on overlay and you could just go ahead and select the video that we just made inside Fanzoid. Go ahead and click on add and now we will have this green screen color right here. And the way that you can remove the green color around the text right here is by first clicking on the text clip. And inside you want to go ahead and look for the background removal settings. So it's this one right here. Click on chroma key. And inside chroma key you want to click on the color picker. Go ahead and click on the green color of our text right here. And after pointing the cursor at the color green, it will instantly remove the background. So all you have to do is to go ahead and click on the check icon and now you can reshape this the way you want to. You can go ahead and zoom it in, place it anywhere you want to. And the way that you can go ahead and make these effects better is by doing the following. So once again, go ahead and click on the clip right here. Scroll down until you see the adjust button. Inside our graphs, you want to click on the color blue. Place a dot at the middle of our line right here and inside you could just go ahead and do the following. And now as you can go ahead and see, as we move on this line right here, it will instantly change the color of our text. Right after, you want to click on the down arrow, click on HSL, and inside you want to go ahead and click on the color blue. And for the first one, you want to scroll this down at the negative 80 right here. Once again, go ahead and click on the check arrow, click on the apply button, and now we have our text effect right here. The only thing left to do now is to go ahead and click on the export button. So guys, once again, if you want to customize your text, you could just head over to panzoid.com where you can go ahead and make the 3D edits for our CapCut. Inside Panzoid, there are a lot of templates inside this website right here. For example, if you want to edit something like this one, you could just go ahead and open it up. And from here, once again, go ahead and click on the line icon or the hamburger icon click on objects and from here you could just edit this the way you want to go ahead and click on play if this video has been helpful for you please consider by liking and subscribing i'll make sure to see you again next time and as always thank you